Hi. I think it's extremely important that we try to become a multi-planet species. I think in order for life to become multi-planetary, uh, we'll need uh, maybe a thousand ships or something like that. Um, but the, the, the overarching goal of SpaceX has been to uh, advance space technology such that uh, humanity can become a multi-planet species and ultimately a space-bearing civilization and to make true the things that we read about in science fiction and have them not always be fiction. I think this is actually quite important. In the long term, it's, it's essential for preserving the light of consciousness. The, the probable lifespan of civilization is much greater if we are a multi-planet species um, and, and uh, ultimately even go beyond our solar system. Um, but the first step is, is um, being, being multi-planet, Mars being the only realistic option for that. Um, so I think from, from a, a standpoint of, yeah, like I said, from a standpoint of preserving the light of consciousness and, um, which I think we should regard as fragile, um, I think it's extremely important that we try to become a multi-planet species um, as quickly as possible. Um, obviously along the way, we will learn a great deal uh, about the nature of the universe. Um, and it will be possible to have many more uh, space-based uh, experiments if you have a very large vehicle uh, capable of transporting things to uh, orbit or the moon or anywhere um, that, that at um, you know a hundred times less than it currently costs. Um, so it's it, it offers sort of profound possibilities, and I think this. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's a fundamental juncture in, in the uh, history of really any civilization on a single planet, which is, do you get to the second planet or do you not? And I propose we do. Um, and I think we should do it as soon as possible. Um, the window of this op opportunity is opened now for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth. It may, it may be open for a long time or it may be open for a short time, and I think we should, you know, be hasty uh, so that just in case it's only open for a short time. Uh, yeah, so like I said, I think this is very important for the long term preservation of the light of consciousness. Um, and of course, we'll, we'll naturally uh, we'll learn a lot of science and develop a lot of technology along the way. So that, that's what Starship is all about. Um, and um, 
Uh, we have an interesting project that we're working with uh, Seoul uh, Polymotor at Berkeley on, uh, which is to have a really big uh, telescope. So this is taking a, a ground-based uh, lens that, or lens, lens that was intended for a ground-based telescope and um, creating a space-based telescope with it. Um, so that, that could be I think, pretty interesting and we you know, would love to do other things as well. So, yeah, um, and, and I think people may know that NASA has selected uh, Starship for the um, transport of astronauts to the lunar surface. Uh, so I will look forward to doing that for NASA. And um, and then I think you know it, it really could be it, ha it has the ability because of the the mass transport capabilities of, of transporting enough mass and people to the moon to actually have a permanently occupied, I think, base on the moon. Uh, much as we have like a permanently occupied base at Antarctica, we could have just sort of a, a moon research station, which I think would be uh, amazing. So, yeah, I think, anyway, this is a, a very profound vehicle um, and um, nothing really like it has, uh, is, is being developed or and I don't think anything quite like it has been even proposed, uh, but it, um, it has the potential to affect human destiny in a very profound way.